20. And this is a weird game. 49ers against the Detroit Lions week one. People are definitely thinking that the Niners are just going to have their way with the Lions. And to be honest, I'm kind of getting that feeling too. I, I did not like the way that the Lions have looked really a lot of this preseason. Um, I'm rooting for Dan Campbell and whatnot. It, just, <laughs> it doesn't look great right now. It looks like your classic Lions. So first couple things is 49ers, the expectations are back. You know, you had it. We, we we all gave you the mulligan from last year because of the injuries, and you kind of got screwed by COVID. And okay, the quarterback situation, yada 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 yada. No excuses this year. Brandon Ayuk, we should see him take a step forward, or Debo Samuel, one of those two dudes. You have George Kittle back, right? You drafted a two running backs, and you still have Raheem. Most you got like ninety thousand running backs. You still have a sicko line. You kept the band together defense you get all your pass rushers healthy are we going to see you be a dominant team or are we going to kind of see what happened against the cardinals last year where yeah we expected the cardinals to be in the game and we expect it to be good but the cardinals kind of just hung around right mm-hmm. it's not even like the 49ers were getting outplayed the cardinals has made made plays and the, and the 49ers did are we just going to see you be dominant Right, we we haven't really seen the Niners be dominant since that Super Bowl run. I want to see him be dominant this game. I yeah, I like this is a game where you know you play in a really tough division and you get an easy week one on paper. Don't let these guys hang around. Like again, Dan Campbell is going to make these guys gritty. You know that's the vibe I get from them. Like they're going to play tough and they're going to play up to their competition. But you're the 49ers. Your team is stacked or too stacked to be letting these guys hang around. You got to, I kind of want to see a statement win because, like, the Niners, like, you know, I love Shanahan. I I love him. And, but, like, we've only seen that one season of dominance under him. You know, like, I give him the benefit of doubt last year with all the injuries and, or, so what? Yeah, we, we gave him the pass. We, we gave him the pass. But I won't. I like. I'm want to see you if you're still legit. Like, are you still the team to team to beat in the West? All right. And on the other front for the Lions, I'm not really expecting much out of the Lions. I guess you just kind of want to see some upside. But the one thing I do want to see from the Lions is you invested draft capital in your offensive and defensive line. You went. And, and I agree with the strategy, right? You went and said, hey, I'm tired of getting beat up front. That was our problem, or at least one of our problems, definitely a major one. Let's improve. Let's just spend our entire draft class, all of our relevant picks until day three, on offensive and defensive linemen. Are you going to get bullied? Because that this San Francisco team is freaking nasty up front on both sides of the ball. Yeah. Are you going to get bullied, right? The, I, this is just going to be a battle of the trenches. Right, if you're a big fan of offensive and defensive line play, this is the this is the game that I want to see because who's going to win up front? I, I mean, it should be the Niners, but if the yeah, Lions are able to win up front, I don't really care if they lose by like ten points. That is encouraging for me because the plan is working. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. 